Do you struggle with pathing? Does laying your pathing down feel near impossible? Do you feel like this when it comes to the path? Well, you've come to the right place. Here at Fishtech School of Design, we have two methods that'll help you get on the right path. Let's get started. Now we're gonna start off by choosing a spot on our island. If you struggle with pathing, it might be helpful to just start off with a blank canvas. It helps if you start with a blank canvas because then it's just the pathing that you are focused on and you wanna perfect that first before putting your build on it. So we're gonna start off opening up our island designer app. Open up the pathing app, look at your custom codes and pick an edge piece from there. So we're gonna start off with like a corner or an edge of the path. I think it helps to start with a actual like corner corner of the path. That way you can kind of follow the diagonal and obviously just switch corners as you see fit. I like to start off though with a corner and then follow that corner into the path that you'd like and fill it in. Now I'm just gonna let this clip play through so that way you can see how I lay it out. Hopefully it's helpful to you. If not, feel free to skip through this part. And here is the area all finished and decorated. One quick tip is that I like to put trees down before doing any decorating. It just helps to frame and fill the area a bit more.
And now here's method two. For method two, you're basically doing the opposite. So you're gonna be using the center tile only and you're outlining where you want everything to go. I would suggest when you're outlining though, if you do wanna go with like a windy path, don't make your one tile thicker than one. Don't make the, t the pathing thicker than one or two blocks. It just kind of helps to when you're actually shaping it with the outside tiles to make sure it doesn't appear too thick. There's nothing wrong with too thick though. And I'm just gonna let the clip play out like I did with the last pathing. Path that way you can see how I figure out this layout with this method. Ta-da! All decorated. This is method two then. I hope you liked it. I don't know if any of this was helpful. I hope it was. But stick around for the last like minute or two of the video. It's just going to be some little tips that you can use to upgrade your pathing after this. So just like some fun ways to use pathing on your island. First, I'm going to show you how you actually lay down pathing from your app. Your character always goes based on what's underneath it and then what's in front of it and then to the right and then to the left. Then it goes to the middle section. So to the right again, to the left of your character and the back right and then the back left and then the back back, like back behind you, behind your character. It's your character's right, your left. It's really just remembering how it goes because I also forget sometimes, but sometimes it's useful to just do it on the app rather than like going and opening up the designer app. But yeah, just kind of keep practicing that. Like the more you use it, the, the easier it'll come to you. So hopefully that little section was helpful. Here are just a couple tips and like things you could add on to your pathing to make it look a bit more interesting. So one thing I like to do here is, you know, to link two paths together, I will use a stepping stone path, either this little dirt pathing here or some sort of step, like a wooden path, like a wooden plank like I'm using here. You could use it to link various different sections. That's a really fun way to do it.
Another idea you could try out is instead of finishing the path with the edges from the path is to use a wooden code, like a wooden plank code, like one of these where it is lined up to the top so then it cuts it off well. And it's kind of a nice way to divide it up if you're kind of doing big chunks of pathing. It's a good way to divide up the space. Like here I use this green like moss grass path code and it looks nice because it kind of looks like it's overgrown. So it's another way to add interest to your path. And lastly, this isn't like anything new or revolutionary whatsoever. It's literally just putting the custom pathing over in-game pathing. And it's not new or unique, but it is interesting. I really enjoy looking at a map and seeing the pathing on there. It looks really nice. So maybe if you're going for that look where you want the pathing to show up on your map, but you also want to use custom paths, this is a good way to add that on there. And I think it looks fun. Bonus, I've seen this pathing, I guess, being used more often where you do this like one lane pathing and you put two of them together and then you put like a vehicle on the top of the pathing, I guess, to make it look like a track and that looks really cute. So here I'm just kind of showing you the pathing. Obviously, this is very simple. You just put down the code and tune it right next to each other and you're good to go. Custom codes will be listed down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.